Hello everybody, this is Hubert with Traveling with Hubert. I'm going to bring you another video today. Um, this one is from Cordill, Georgia. It's the county seat of Crisp County. And keeping with our theme of towns that were thriving at one time, but now maybe not so much. Uh, I have to let you, let you make up your own mind about Cordill uh, because it's, it's right on Highway uh, Interstate 75. And uh, the section of Cordill out by the interstate uh, appears to be doing well. There's motels, restaurants, uh, and other businesses. But when you come back west toward uh, Americas, when you get to US 41, which used to be the main road through Cordill, uh, north and south, you will see that a lot of buildings are vacant different types of you know, businesses um, in some of the buildings um, and uh, so that, that part, of, part of Cordial doesn't look like it's doing so well. Uh, I'll let you make up your own mind about that but I want to bring this to you. Uh, we're not trying to cover all the community uh, neighborhoods in Cordial but we're going to travel east on 280 till we get to Cordill and then we're going to go uh, down 24th Avenue uh, then we're going to cut across to 16th Avenue and come back west then we're going when we get to US 41 we're going to turn north go out to the farmers market turn around and come back uh, 41 till we get to the US 280 again and we're going to head west till we get out of town. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, these are some notables from uh, that, that are associated with Cordill. Uh, there's Buster Brown, he's a blues singer. Uh, Preston Denard was an uh, NFL player, former NFL, he is a former NFL player. Uh, Mac Hyman, who's a novelist, he's wrote several novels, but he's probably most famous for writing No Time for Sergeants, uh, which propelled Annie Griffith to start him. Uh, have Marcus Lamb, who's the president of the Christian organization Daystar. Uh, Jody Powell is from Cordial, has connections to Cordial. Uh, he was uh, press secretary for former President Jimmy Carter. Andrew Ramsey, who is an NFL player. Uh, Tree Rollins, who played in the NBA. Uh, I remember him playing for the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Joe Williams, who's a singer. And then Noel Williams Jr., who's a politician. These are all notable people from Cordell. And I'll remind you about this as we go through the video. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you enjoy it, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. You have a blessed day. Approaching Port Hill, Georgia, that's the county seat of Crisp County. We're coming headed east on Highway 280 and we fixed an exit 280 to go to 16th Avenue. This is the road that takes you to 300, which is uh, the four lane that goes from Cordill to Albany. Big farming center. You see a lot of businesses related to farming.
school. Yes, as far as I know it is. school. Let's take a real quick drive through the parking lot here. There's not, it's just a school. There's nothing real special about it. But it's Chris County Elementary School. safety reasons. The train goes right under it and uh, sometimes the ambulances would get stopped by the train so they just built this overpass so that people could, would not be held up by, by the train. And this should be 16th Avenue. And you can imagine back in the day, honey, that it was a really nice well, it is still nice, but you know, 40 years ago it would have been a lot newer and all. No, I'm sure that it is now. What's it looking for your camera?
Johnson Middle School. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of it. This used to be the high school, and they built a new high school out near the interstate, and this became the middle school. It's a pretty huge building, complex. Kind of big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Middle school. I guess they use all of it. I don't know about that. I don't know either, but it's huge. See a crystal and a Chick fil A, some uh, motels, and a Captain D's to the right. They pretty much got everything out of here. We don't have anything, of course, there at the interstate. No, yeah, a lot different. of this is interstate business. They get a lot of their business from the interstate. situation right now I'd rather be where I am honey but you know I lived here for a year passed at a church here for a year and you said you like 
I did. We were kind of away from this area, but we were within five minutes of anything that you see here. Yeah, this, this part of Cordial seems to be doing well. Uh, there's Mavis Tires, That's, and there's Jacob's car, so I'm assuming he's at work today. Not today. I want to see him, but just not today. Yeah, he's at work. The cold's going to be in the middle. <laughs> yes. It's been raining a lot. He lives down a dirt road. So, we got a Walmart. I'll take you by where I passed you, sweetheart. Can you tell me? You show me that. Services. Railway freight, huh? Don't shop the wrong way, shop the railway. I think that's their motto. They're a little bit higher on their gas over here. Well, like I said, it's right here on the interstate. One of the newer businesses they have is this car wash, Goo Goo Car Wash. Now we're going into the old downtown area and you can tell a big difference from the new part out toward the interstate. Another pawn shop. This building on the right was a bank at one time and it closed. They have another place out right where we turned on the 16th and it became um, I guess unfeasible to have two two banks in the same place mm -hmm. same city one this size anyway when I first came over here there was uh, Pontiac place and a Chevy place, a Ford dealership, and a Dodge and Chrysler dealership, and I, the only two left is the Ford dealership and Chrysler dealership. Of course, there's some used car dealers, you know. Yes. This is downtown. At least there's some businesses here. They do have a television station here, WST. Yeah. I think they. I think they're still going. A lot of little shops and these little cubby holes and things. This is this is Highway 41. This used to be a main road from up north to Florida. So. You can imagine what this was like back in the day. What is that place at? It's out on 280. They got a new courthouse, or a newer courthouse. Yeah. Come back, I'll try to get it. Talking about the. 
I know she works out at that Noble place. We went up, we came up here when she was working at the store over here or something. Oh, I don't remember. Don't remember. In the hospital. Chris Regional. and her seizures they always did a really good job with her and I, you know like any hospital some people are going to complain that it's not you, you don't even need to take your animals there and others you know say they got we never had any problems here let me put it that way State Farmers Market. You're saying the seasons are going out. Well, I see all the watermelon buses over there, honey, so I'm assuming that. They're about done with the watermelon. Yes. It's August, yeah, they're, they're way done with the watermelon.
I think it's this fast shop up here, honey. Yeah, I think that's where it was, right here on the interstate isn't doing as badly as some places. But you can tell that it's not near like it used to be. side of the interstate. Yeah, thank you, That's the First Methodist Church there. It's big. Yes. I don't know, it seemed like way back in the day they sure did have big churches. You know that church has been there for a long time. Yes, it's been there for a long time. Presbyterian church is right there, which is more my size. I mean, it's amazing to me how big the churches are for mm -hmm. such small towns that don't right. have that many people. Right. But yeah, they tend to have huge churches. And what are they doing in that place right there? You trying to look at the neighborhoods a little bit? Well, I was trying to find. This area somewhere is where Janie Lou Gibbs lived. So I've been told, and I don't, I didn't see anything that looked like housing. So I don't know how true that is. I just have to go by what I was told. But she lived there, and she's the lady who poisoned her three sons, her grandson, and her husband mm -hmm. back in the '60s. A famous person or infamous person from, from here. And we're headed back home now on Highway 280. Did you ever get a black flasher like we 
And we did leave last year. Seems to be one of the more popular videos I've done, honey. This is East Courtney. That's that was probably African American school, honey. Because this is this is a African American neighborhood. Bait and tackle shop. Gotta have a bait and tackle shop. Mm -hmm. When you were asking about Kayla working, I thought you were talking about this place up here on the right. You know, she's a security guard up here. place here. It used to be Norboard, but it is starting pay 1756. I wonder if she gets a Well she works for a customer. Yeah she works for us. she works for us.